In my last video, we spoke about how to book a freestyle artist in five simple steps. But what I didn't tell you was how to pick the best artist for your particular event. But I will now, so let's go. Hey, what's up freestylers? Latif here, exploring with you the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. And every week on this channel, we discuss ways that we as a freestyle music community can recognize, define, and nurture the culture that we know lies within the genre. We'll also be talking with not only different artists and other freestyle personnel, but also some incredible fans in search of ideas that we can use to help us resurrect the genre back to the way we remember it. If you're new to this channel and feel like this is something that you can get down with, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you click subscribe and a little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Picking a freestyle artist for an event can be a bit tricky and for many reasons. One of the biggest problems that I encounter dealing with promoters, especially first timers, is separating the promoter from the fan. The first thing I ask promoters when they call inquiring about a booking is to send me a list of their top five artists that they would love to see perform at their event. Now, normally agents will ask for things like the size of the venue or what their budget might be. And these are viable questions and questions that I will eventually ask. But in the beginning, I like to find out what it is these promoters want and see if there's any way that I can fulfill that want. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. That at least is my first attempt. Now doing this for so many years, there are three answers that I expect from these promoters. Now most promoters are gonna give me a list of those heavy hitters. You know, those freestyle artists that you see headlining all the major freestyle events around the country. Now these artists are most likely gonna be way over budget. Not that the promoters can't afford them, they just won't be feasible for that particular event. Now look, we don't want our promoters trying to sell $200 tickets for a 300 capacity club. That's not gonna be good for anyone. Now if these are the artists that the promoters have in mind, then that's great. And I wanna know this so that way we can set up a goal to eventually get to that point. Now keep in mind, as agents, our entire income is purely commission based, meaning the more money we make for the artists, the more money we make off the deal. This is why there are agents who will never defer you from booking a major artist for your small club. Some might even encourage it. But what they fail to realize is that they're stopping you from making money, which will ultimately stop you from booking shows. Now this next batch of promoters are going to request what I call Freestyles Lost Gems. Now these are those incredible artists that had these incredible songs back in the day, but we don't see them anymore. In fact, they haven't performed in years. Now, these artists, if I could find them, would definitely fit the budget, if not under. Now, let's be real. The fact that they haven't done a show in years could result in a pretty disappointing performance. Oh. So why would any promoter even be interested in one of these artists? Well, it's obvious. They're fans. But you see, this is not the time to play favorites. This time needs to be spent promoting your show, not going around reminding people of who these artists are. Look, I don't mean to be cruel, but there's really no other way to explain it. Do I believe that there's a place for these artists? Absolutely, I'm a fan of many of them myself, just not as the driving force of a new promoter's first show. By the way, if there are some lost gems that you would love to see at one of these freestyle events, do me a favor and list them below. I love to see who they are. Hey, you never know, you might be hooking them up. And finally, there are those artists who occupy that middle lane of freestyle. The most overlooked yet best choice in my opinion when it comes to new promoters and small venues. They're not headliners nor are they lost gems and when promoters contact me about these artists, I know right there on the spot that this deal is gonna run smooth. These artists you see booked everywhere. They're reasonably priced and can accommodate small clubs. They have the experience to put on a stellar performance and most importantly, at least to the promoter, they're an asset to the bottom line. 
A key factor in keeping promoters promoting and artists performing. And yes, my recommendation for small clubs and new promoters would be that middle lane artist. And guess what? There's plenty of them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not against the headliner or the lost gem. There is a place for them in your career. Just not yet. Headlining artists are going to be important when you need just that, a headlining artist. And it isn't as much their drawing power as it is their presence. The fact that you see these artists headlining so many events sort of solidifies and legitimizes your event when they headline that one too. Are they important? I think so, even if it's just for the overall look of the event. Look, just keep booking, learning, and building, and it won't be long before you too will be promoting your own major event with your own freestyle headliner. And going back to these lost gems, oh yeah, that'll be an incredible add-on to some of these freestyle concerts. They're just not ready to drive their own show yet. They need to re-season themselves, you know, get a few shows back up under their belt, go on social media, reintroduce themselves to the marketplace. Because if a promoter has to do that, trust me, it's going to be a bad turnout. Once these lost gems regain their legacy and word has it that they put on an incredible show, it really won't be that long before they'll be riding that middle lane with the others. All I can tell them is be patient. So here's a question for you. If you had a club that held 300 people, and I told you to put together a list of five of your top choice artists. What five will that be? Can be a headliner, a lost gem, or a middle laner. Let me know in the comments below. Your answer to this question will become the springboard to many discussions about this topic, and eventually, and only with your help, will we finally discover the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video, and if it made any kind of sense to you, please, that thumbs up will let me know. And if you click subscribe and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. My name is Latif Mercado, and until next time, keep it real, keep it peace, and remember, freestyle for life.